Hello, hello Pisces. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's see what's coming in for you. Any messages? Who or what is showing up around you? What you need to know? And as always, take what's resonating and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If this resonates, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I I'm spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a personal reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right, Pisces. Let's take a look. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Five of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Cups, the High Priestess. Okay. Huh. Someone just had to pay <laughs> um, maybe some karmic debt. I'm seeing a karmic completion though. So something has something has been paid off. It feels like some sort of karmic debt um, or maybe a debt in general. All right. And I feel like now that this karmic completion has ended, it's kind of like you're on a new start or... You're on some sort of new adventure, okay? You are re you are getting prepared for like the time for a time, but it does feel like something is playing itself out here. I'm picking up like some of you just having like weird energy, um, not you, but like people around you or situations around you. You're like why like, especially with this like seven of swords energy, five of pentacles. Sleazy, like there's somebody around you who you can just feel like has some sort of sleazy energy about them, right? And it does feel like you're at this place where you're really needing to honor how you feel about this situation, how you be, how you feel about this person, especially with this King of Cups here, like you um, are very in tune. You're in tune with energies. You're in tune with people. You're in tune with your own emotions. And when your emotions are not in a good place, especially around a certain situation or a person, it's, it's something that you are becoming more aware of. Okay. I would be careful with with somebody who you do feel some sort of weirdo energy from because it does look like there could be someone here who is just trying to like trying to make a run for it. Something's getting too real and they're like making a run for it here. Okay. Mm. All right. So some of you, I do, f I do see you stressing over this. And the thing is, usually this comes up when we are maybe we you have a you have a good reason to to be stressed about a situation, but it's not going to be the end of you, right? It's not going to be. It's it's not going to affect you maybe in the way that you think it will it's all of these like what ifs what if i fail what if they hurt me what if they take advantage and it's all of these like it's kind of like a negative loop that you're kind of going down here but it doesn't ever really happen that way right and you're in the midst of a change right now. So even though you're kind of like, why is all of this stuff happening to me? Or why? Like I'm picking up some of you feeling like you've been kind of down on your luck. Um, but 10 is the number of completion. So there is some sort of lesson that has or is in the verge of completing itself for you. And then we start new. And then we start fresh. And then we... we and then things get better, right? Things are going to get better. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. 
They do. Of course they do. So, I feel like you are <laughs> feeling triggered. <laughs> you see this like monster chasing him. Somebody, somebody um, who you're trying to like avoid or kind of get away from. In a way, it feels like you are ready to kind of create some sort of positive change here and avoid a, a situation or a person altogether and explore something new. Explore a new adventure, a new beginning. You're on the verge of a change or really just like turning a situation around here. Feels like if there's anyone that can turn this situation around, it's you or it's going to be you that really turns things around here uh, in a positive way. What is this change? What is this change? You're changing. You're changing the way that, that you look at things, your perspective on it. With this nine of swords, it's that like negative loop or anxiety. You're either coming to some sort of acceptance over it or you're replacing Fear into courage. Fear into courage. And we have this Knight of Cups. So somebody around you is um, offering you some emotional support. Tell me about this Knight of Cups. This does indicate somebody who is offering you um, a love partnership. I'm seeing love partnership here. Somebody wants a romantic partnership with you and is ready to or on the way to express this express their true emotions their true feelings tell me about this knight of cups they're taking loving action towards you what is this offer okay three of cups i'm feeling like an invitation here there's an invitation that somebody is like sending out an invite or this like offer to have a good time, get closer, get connected. And they're being very direct about it with that Queen of Swords energy. Someone is being very direct about how they feel about you <laughs> and what they want with you. Or the fact that they want, they want to be with you or go out with you like they're being very direct straightforward a straight shooter type of person okay in the midst of this like chaos or challenge or battle somebody's coming in as kind of like a, a light now tell me about this five of wands somebody is trying really really hard it feels like somebody is trying really hard to compete with you. That's what it feels like. Like someone's really trying hard to compete with you. Um, to. Have the upper hand. They're putting in a lot of effort here. But they're struggling. They are really struggling here. And I feel like you are trying to be more strategic. Um, keeping your cards close to yourself in order to navigate this situation. Because whoever this person is, it feels like they're trying really hard to get a reaction. What is this? What is this battle? Or drama. Someone's creating drama here where there doesn't have to be any, or competition where there doesn't have to be any. Five of Swords, yeah. Because they're unhappy in their own life. Nine of Cups reverse. So, yeah, you have someone here who is, like, uh, upset. They're clearly upset, or you're seeing them as, you're like, okay, you're clearly mad, you're clearly upset, um... Because they're, and it is because they're unhappy in their own life or they don't feel like they have all of their cups filled 
where they could be or they're just not feeling fulfilled in their own life and so they are in a way kind of like taking it out on this situation or taking it out of, on you unfairly okay if you have someone in mind pisces think of them let's take a look and see how they feel about you about this situation with you for the rest of the month the two of pentacles we have death temperance five of swords Nine of Cups. All right. Interesting how we have like in both of these images holding two things. So whoever this person is, I see them feeling like they are juggling something right now. They're trying really hard to keep something balanced or this situation with you um, balanced. Maybe even feel like they need to make a choice about whether or not they should sacrifice this situation or sacrifice something in order to make something work with you. Tell me about this Two of Cups why, or Two of Pentacles. Why are the Two of Pentacles? Ace of Swords. They're trying to get clarity here. Or try, try, they're even trying to gain some sort of strength or courage to keep this, to, to put some sort of, to keep things going. I do see someone trying to put in the effort here to make something work with you. I think this person has or had intentions of maybe even letting this go with that death card, <laughs> but their actions is showing them trying to work it out. Hmm. They want to try to heal or put the effort into healing things, bringing things back to a place of balance with you getting things back to a calm or even place because uh, they do see you as like up, upset as well with that five of swords energy maybe even feeling like you're you've been hurt by this deeply why the five of swords is how they see you Pisces okay yeah, they're see they're they're feeling a change in your energy. Um they feel like you're just no longer wanting to associate with them anymore. With this five of with this four of cups. <laughs> Some of you maybe even have a therapist or they see you as like needing therapy trying to heal and they're coming through as wanting to make something better wanting to put the effort into making things better here why well, the death card and first reverse okay so i see this person feels like this is something that may come to an end but at the same time they don't want it to their actions is showing them trying to reestablish some peace here or bring peace for some of you, I see this person maybe even choosing to kind of let things come to an end, but apologize, make something right, even if it means no reconciliation with you. Because they, for some of you, this person sees you as like not wanting to reconcile with them, not wanting um, to have them in your life. And so they're trying to bring some sort of peace. Um or effort to create peace here 
even if it means not speaking, even, even if it means no contact. All right. So what is this seven of swords about? This seven of swords has been staring at me. Yeah, it feels like some of you are at this point where you are, you've made some sort of decision to let yourself like break free from a commitment si silently or quietly trying to uh, get out of something here that is in a way a threat to you. Hmm. Right. But we do have this King of Cups. So you do have somebody who, again, genuinely is showing up very emotionally uh, available, very emotionally giving, offering you a love partnership. Tell me about this love partnership after this karmic completion. Compassion. Yeah. Someone, someone's showing you some some compassion or or love and I feel like this is also connected to like the compassion that you're showing yourself at this moment showing yourself some compassion for how you're reacting or the things you've done with what you've known what you've known who you've known Connecting to your individuality, what makes you you, what makes you unique, knowing that we're not all perfect. Completion. Yeah, completion. We have it twice. So you are definitely in spiritual partnership. You are definitely completing a cycle that has been tough. Like it's been tough or right now things are tough, but it gets better. It gets better. It does. You're at this halfway point here. It's like you're not even in the beginning stages anymore. You're at this halfway point of, of a positive change. Turning something around in your life. I'm seeing the numbers 55, 13, 10, 11, 26. Those numbers could be synchronicities, special days. I'm seeing the letters A, D, F, E, T, O. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's. But with that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope that you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye Pisces.